Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this is the second time I filmed this video today. I had my washer and dryer guy show up, finally deliver my stuff. My husband's truck alarm wouldn't stop going off and it like disabled his truck. And then the lighting kept jacking with me in my original spot. So I'm gonna try this spot out. I can already see I'm striping, but to be perfectly frank with you, I don't know where else to go just yet. So um, just bear with me in my quest to find my new filming spot. Also, hi, I'm back. And thank you for being patient with me while I was unexpectedly out. Um, I moved, for those of you who don't know, and it was extremely stressful and all-encompassing and just dominated everything. So that being said, uh, I'm back and I'm gonna do an empties video because I'm really rusty and I don't, I can't do anything really more than that because I relearn how to do videos. So, um, that being said, I'm just, I have my little box here of stuff that I've assembled since I've been in my place. I had a whole big bag of empties that I, um, was actually, I had wanted to do a video on, uh, before I moved, but it just got, like, there wasn't enough time and it just got crazy. So, sorry. <sighs> I'm really bummed too, because I actually would have had, like, a ton of cool stuff to show you. But anyway, so I'm just going to dive right in. First thing I actually used up today is my Moroccan oil light. It is a, uh treatment oil it's i think all of you know what moroccan oil is i really love this it is my hair specifically is pretty coarse so it just drinks oil in like it just loves oil um it definitely isn't something that i would like i wouldn't put like a styling cream in without putting an oil in because it just i feel like it really gets into my strands better for the actual like hair health i really love this stuff i i have a couple other versions of hair oil in my like drawer of things to go through so I won't repurchase this right away because I definitely want to try some of those out but this is definitely something that is going to get repurchased I absolutely love it this is my second or third bottle of it I've had and I like the light simply because it is for fine or light colored hair and I typically tend to stick with like blonde colored stuff just because color specific products like if it's intended for like a brunette or an auburn it's going to deepen my hair color and I don't want that so I like this one because uh, the blonde. next thing is my Arcona cranberry toner this is probably my fifth bottle sixth bottle that I've ever had um and I have about one more use in it but if you're looking for a toner that is calming, that really does help with the pH balance of your skin, um, I really love this. I think it's a great toner. My only gripe with it is that you burn through it. I think I went through this whole bottle in under a month. I don't use more than you know like you're supposed to use. It's just you burn through it. So and it's not cheap. It's like thirty four dollars. So it's just one of those things where. I haven't been using it in a while. My skin's still doing really really well. I'm gonna take a little break just because. Frankly, I just moved. I have a lot of things I need to buy, and toner, if it's not crucial, isn't on the top of that list. So if you are in the market for it, this is excellent. I would highly recommend this as a toner if you need one. I love it. It's the only toner I will use because it's just This is great. something, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, there was probably like a week or two that I had like all of these selfies and my hair looked like really big and everybody was commenting and even I was like holy crap my hair looks awesome and a lot of people were asking me what mousse it was and it was the Oscar Blondie Hair Lift Thickening and Strengthening Mousse. I like this. It really does expand your hair. It makes it thicker. Um, it's great in that respect. It says it has a strong flexible hold. I don't know how flexible a hold I would say this has. It really does feel like you've teased your hair because you know how when you tease, the, like your strands are going like this and you tease it and they lock, right? That's what builds the volume. It feels like you've done that all over your head. When you go to like, like I do this quite a bit, I'll just lift my roots. Um, and I definitely noticed like when I had that in my hair that I couldn't really do that. I would just have to kind of massage almost because it was like in there. Um, and I also, it's a good like texture mousse, like it's that good foam. Uh, I really liked it. I used quite a bit. I would probably use about two of these high for my crown and I would basically take the top half of my head, work the mousse right in there. I really like this. I will repurchase it. I just need to make some space in my hair arsenal wardrobe for it. So I want to get through another mousse Next first. Next is this Dr. Brandt, Glow by Dr. Brandt 
ruby crystal duo it is the ruby crystal retinol hydrocreme and the overnight resurfacing serum um i wouldn't buy this again simply it i got this originally because i was reading reviews with people who have my type of skin they were loving this around my birthday i made a decision that i wanted to start trying retinol because it is very very good for both acne as well as anti-aging so i thought well perfect that's exactly my skin let's give it a go and I don't currently see a dermatologist. I haven't in quite some time. I do actually want to try to find one in the next couple of months because I think I would benefit from one. But seeing as how I don't currently go to a dermatologist, I wasn't able to just get a prescription for retinol. So this is something that I wanted to try just to see how my skin took to it. It's only 2% retinol, so I thought it would be a good like stepping stone for me. It also had like, you know, a couple other things that kind of were a good you know kind of toe in the water i think the hydrocreme was crap like i noticed absolutely nothing with this i have no idea what it was supposed to do because it didn't do anything and then the overnight resurfacing serum i did notice something with this i just think for the price um this i think the duo was 60 60 or 65 and these are half an ounce each and then the full size i want to say is 80 or 85 or something and I think for that amount of money you can just go to Next your dermatologist. This is my Josie Marin Argon Oil. This is just a small guy. I have, I mean I think I've emptied one of these before uh, in a video. This is always going to be in my like everyday product life. Absolutely love this moisturizer. I have the regular and I have the light. Um, I use both regularly. I love them both. It's just a go-to. I love it. It's such a great moisturizer it sinks into my skin really nicely um, if I have any dryness it really works on like if I have any flaky you know I have acne prone skin so I tend to really you know hit it sometimes and this really balances that moisture to like acne product treatment ratio this just helps balance my skin I love it next up is my makeup forever duo matte matte duo I don't remember what they called it it's a face powder it's a powder foundation Look like that it's empty i think my color was in 203 out of this for quite some time um i think i i know i replaced it with the kat von d tattoo powder foundation it's a great powder foundation if you need coverage if you don't want it to look um super cakey i definitely would say if you are going to try a powder foundation like during the day for touch-ups for coverage if you have like you know if you notice that you have muddling or anything like that on your face i do recommend blotting your face first with an oil blotting sheet just to remove the excess oil and then to put the foundation back on to like, you know, refreshed skin, so to speak, just so it doesn't, it's less likely to cake that way. But I did like Next this Next is my Pond's Luminous Clean Wet Cleansing Towelettes. I got these from Pond's when I was in New York uh, in October. I really like these. Uh, they have a good texture to them. If your skin can handle a, man a manual exfoliant really well, so you like that kind of scrub, you know, effect, this is great. The towelettes individually are really effective. They, you know, it only takes one to get your makeup off with, I noticed. Um, and if you do find yourself you know, wanting a little more cleanser, I used Bioderma on this and I thought it, was, it worked wonderfully. It just really helps, you know, get everything off and get your skin really prepped for cleansing. Um, the other thing that's nice is if you are like having one of those nights where you don't actually want to wash your face, it has that nice scrub texture to it. So it, you feel like you are kind of removing a little bit of that dullness. And yeah, I mean, for a drugstore towelette, I'm not the biggest fan of towelettes in general, but I think this is a really good one. I have two my Clean and Clear Persa Gel 10. This is a 10% benzoyl peroxide acne treatment. This is what I use every night for like all over acne fighting. I'm a huge benzoyl peroxide fan. I don't find that salicylic acid is all that effective on me. I don't uh, notice like any big changes with it, but this stuff, you can find drugstore knockoffs of it, but this is just easy to find. Um, and it's what I have. This stuff is great. I will Lastly have is my Christian Dior Creme de Rose Smoothing Plumping Lip Balm SPF of 10. This thing is completely empty. This stuff is wonderful if you're in the market for like a really, you know, nice high-end lip balm. If you want to spend like that fresh price, the sugar lip treatments. If you're looking for something in that kind of ballpark where you're just kind of pampering yourself, but it's a good lip balm, I really recommend this. You can find them at Sephora. You can find them at like Dior counters. Um, I think it's just great. I keep this on my nightstand. It was just, it sinks into your lips overnight. You wake up and they feel plump and velvety and soft and you don't have like flakiness. Um, I really, really, really like this. I would recommend this to anybody. So I hope you guys like the video and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.